Hello friends, I welcome you in lecture number 12 on basic probability. In this lecture, we are going to discuss one more problem on basic probability theory. So to solve this problem, we require uh, these three results that we know that if we want to prove that two events are independent, we have to prove that probability of A intersection B equal to probability of A times probability of B. That is two events A and B are independent if we can show that probability of intersection of A and B equals probability of A times probability of B. Also we are familiar with probability of complement of event A. It is given by 1 minus probability of A. And we are familiar with uh, De Morgan's law. So if we are interested in the complement of A union B that is A union B dash then by De Morgan's law this is equal to intersection of complement of A and complement of B. So with these three results in our mind we try to uh, do this problem. So first we do part A. This part A was asked in GTU winter 2020 exam for this AME subject. So it is uh, here in part A uh, we have to show that if the events A and B are independent then show that the events A and B dash that is complement of B are also independent. So here we are given that events A and B are independent and we have to show that events A and B dash are independent. So first we write that it is given that first we are doing part A so it is given that events A and B are independent. So we know that if events A and B are independent then probability of A intersection B will be equal to product of probability of A and probability of B. So we give this number 1. Now we want to prove that events A and B dash are independent. So we have to show that probability of A intersection B dash must be equal to probability of A times probability of B dash. So now we try to prove that probability of A intersection B dash equal to probability of A times probability of B dash. Now if you recall uh, we can write probability of A intersection B dash as probability of A minus probability of A intersection B. So now events A and B are independent. So we can replace probability of A intersection B by probability of A times probability of B. So this is using equation number 1 because A and B are independent. Now here in both the terms we can take probability of A common so here in the bracket here we are left with 1 and here we are left with probability of B. Now 1 minus probability of B is nothing but probability of B complement that is B dash. So therefore we are able to prove that probability of A intersection B dash is product of probability of A and probability of B dash. So therefore by definition A and B dash that is complement of B are also independent. So it is easy to prove that if A and B are independent probability of A intersection B dash equal to probability of A times probability of B dash. So we must remember this result also that probability of A intersection B dash will be equal to probability of A minus probability of A intersection B. Now we consider part B. In part B if the events A and B are independent then we have to prove that events A dash and B dash that is complement of A and complement of B are also independent. So for this we have to prove that probability of A dash intersection B dash must be equal to 
probability of a dash times probability of b dash so now we try to prove part b now in part b we have to show that probability of a dash intersection b dash will be equal to probability of a dash times probability of b dash now by de morgan's law i can replace this intersection of a dash and b dash by complement of union of a and b if i consider probability of complement of a union b then this is equal to by de morgan's law complement of a union b equal to a complement intersection b complement so we are replacing a complement intersection b complement by complement of a union b so this is by de morgan's law so we should specify that we are using de morgan's law now here we can use the uh, definition of complementary event we know that probability of a complement will be equal to 1 minus probability of a so here instead of a we have a union b we are considering probability of complement of a union b so that is equal to 1 minus probability of a union b now if we remember the addition rule for probability then probability of a union b can be written as probability of a plus probability of b minus probability of a intersection b so this we are writing by addition rule for probability by addition rule for probability we replace probability of a union b by probability of a plus probability of b minus probability of a intersection b now this i can take negative sign inside the bracket so i have 1 minus probability of a minus probability of b here negative negative positive plus probability of a intersection b now it is given that events a and b are independent so we can replace probability of a intersection b by probability of a times probability of b so this is uh, by given hypothesis it is given that a and b are independent so we replace probability of a intersection b by probability of a times probability of b now we keep 1 minus probability of a, a as it is now if we observe in this term we can have uh, we have probability of b and which is present in this term also so we can take uh, this uh, negative of probability of b common so here if we take minus probability of b common we are left with 1 and here we are taking minus probability of b common so i have to consider negative sign here so i am taking pro minus probability of b common from these two terms and i am left with 1 minus probability of a and here also i can write in the bracket so again we can take this uh, bracket common 1 minus probability of a is common in these two terms so if we take 1 minus probability of a common then here we are left with 1 and in this term we are left with probability of b now 1 minus probability of a is nothing but probability of a complement and 1 minus probability of b is nothing but probability of b complement so we have shown that probability of a dash intersection b dash equal to probability of a dash times probability of b dash therefore events a complement and b complement are also independent so we have shown that if events a and b are independent then their complementary events are also independent so here we have used several results
first we have used the de Morgan's law then we have used this fact that probability of a complement is 1 minus probability of a then we have used addition rule for probability probability of a union b is replaced by probability of b plus probability of b minus probability of a intersection b and here we have used the fact that a and b are independent so using all these results we are able to prove that if events a and b are independent then a and b dash are also independent similarly if a and b are independent then events a dash and b dash are also independent so if we are familiar with all these type of results then we can do this type of problems easily so this is all about this lecture i hope you like it thank you very much